Trump just rained down hell on North Korea 7,500 times today after Kim Jong-un put his finger on trigger. With the growing threat from North Korea becoming an ever-growing issue on the minds of Americans, many want to know what the president plans to do about it. Since the majority of us feel a little shaken up and almost like we're in recovery from a bad relationship with our last commander-in-chief, we're waiting with bated breath to see how this one will handle a crisis. Since the threat from North Korea isn't a new one but was never dealt with, the president is having to make up for lost time to give North Korea a strong show of force. Even though it's not very appealing to the liberal agenda, the United States military is poised and ready to strike, should North Korea's dictator decide to follow through on his many threats. The tiny dictatorship was given a lot to fear when President Trump made these comments. According to Zero Hedge, the POTUS isn't waiting for the storm to come to him, he's beginning it himself with the 7,500 Marines he sent to watch North Korea's front door. Just one week after uttering his now infamous This is the calm before the storm statement to the press ahead of a dinner with military leaders, we now learn that President Trump has dispatched a second nuclear aircraft carrier, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, filled with 7,500 Marines, to the Korean Peninsula. Of course, this comes after rumors swirled earlier this week that North Korea is preparing to fire multiple short-range rockets around the opening of the Chinese Communist Party's twice-a-decade Congress on October 18. No matter how petted, pampered, or dictatorial Kim Jong-un is, he couldn't possibly have thought that there would be no retaliation to his bold threats against the United States. As a nation. We've got a pretty great reputation for winning the fights we get involved in. After all, being one of the world's superpowers with the greatest fighting force on the planet comes with not only bragging rights but the ability to follow through. Here are a few details about the troops that were sent to the region. The USS Theodore Roosevelt, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, is en route to the Western Pacific after leaving San Diego port last week. The Roosevelt will focus on maritime security operations in the Pacific and Middle East, the U.S. military announced. But the pound $3.4 billion, $4.5 billion, warship, known as the Big Stick, has been sent to boost U.S. defense on the Korean Peninsula, according to South Korean media. It is expected to arrive in, the, region in the coming weeks amid fears North Korea is about to test another missile or a nuclear weapon. Per the following map from Stratfor, the USS Theodore Roosevelt will join the USS Ronald Reagan which is already operating in the region. Anyone who has had any dealings with Marines knows that those folks get things accomplished. Just imagine what 7,500 of them could do if deployed to deal with the threats being leveled at their beloved country. And just in case you were worried that this was an empty threat. One Navy admiral cleared up the state of mind and ability of the forces being sent to North Korea. According to a statement from Admiral Steve Kohler, a strike group commander on the ship, the Roosevelt is carrying some 7,500 sailors and Marines that are ready as a war fighting force. The U.S. Navy carrier strike group is the most versatile, capable force at sea, he said in a statement before the ship's launch. After nearly a year of training and integration exercises, the entire team is ready as a warfighting force and ready to carry out the nation's tasking. Many consider this move to be the action that the president was referring to in the video above. There's little chance that when the president makes a threat, it will be an empty one, but it's still surprising for those of us who had lost hope in our former military leader to see a strong move this quickly. Of course, as we noted above, this buildup of naval forces in the Pacific follows an ominous warning from the president last week that preceded a dinner with military leaders, you guys know what this represents? Maybe it's the calm before the storm, he said, it could be the calm. Before. The storm. A reporter quickly asked what the storm might be, is it Iran, ISIS, what's the storm? To which he replied. Dot you'll find out. And find out we did. Anyone who was worried about the safety of our country under Obama can now sleep in peace knowing that the situation is being handled. It may not make everyone happy that the president is matching every threat with a military action of his own, 
but sometimes you've just got to fight fire with fire and they'll be happy when it stops us from being attacked. They'll find out, find out.